Entrepreneurship offers numerous benefits for society. It creates job opportunities, fosters innovation and the development of new products and services that improve quality of life and diversifies the economy, making it more resilient to shocks. My guest, engineer Namde Felix Wonachuku, is a seasoned entrepreneur with over 22 years of experience in telecommunications, agriculture, rural estate, and downstream oil and gas industry. He holds a bachelor's in electronics engineering from the University of Nigeria in Suka, an OMP from the Lagos Business School, an MBA from the University of South Wales, and MPhil from UCAM Spain, and is currently pursuing a doctorate in business administration at Universidad Católica de Murisa in Spain. As a business coach, public speaker, and founder of DAX Group, he is dedicated to promoting a business growth and development. He joins me now as we delve into consolidating successes of Nigerian entrepreneurs to waste forward uh, since independence. Many thanks for joining me, uh, Mr. Onachuku, Engineer Onachuku. Thank you very much, Justin. Yeah. Happy Independence, Nigeria. Yes, happy and, Independence. Uh, well, thank you for bringing me to Brazil Insight. Okay, let's talk about entrepreneurship development in Nigeria, you know, because right now you will agree with me that um, small, uh, medium, small and um, uh, micro businesses are the ones really driving the economy and they actually are uh, employing a whole lot of uh, labor in the country despite the fact that, um, you know, unemployment is uh, on the rise in the country. So far, so good. Uh, how would you say we have come in terms of entrepreneurship development in Nigeria? Let's start from there. Thank you very much. Well, your question is uh, uh, spot on. Uh, looking at Nigeria 64 and how far entrepreneurship uh, development has fared in Nigeria, I will say that uh, dating back in the 50s, entrepreneurs have so helped this economy in terms of GDP growth. Uh, you remember uh, the likes of experts like uh, Salim Sojuku, who was a great entrepreneur in the 50s. We, we are even told that some point the point had to use his Rolls Royce when he visited Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, going forward, post independence, we've heard of great entrepreneurs like Bishu uh, Dabiola of uh, Concord Press. Uh, we've heard about Adebayole, we've heard about Ekemedu uh, Chukwu, uh, we've heard about so many of the entrepreneurs who have helped Nigeria in so many ways. Uh, what I don't I can't talk about is how the sustainability has been. But uh, if you look at it from every perspective, entrepreneurs have always remained the drivers of this economy. And in every free market economy, it's entrepreneurs that drive the economy. The government don't have any business in business. I uh, think that for Nigeria, at some point in the 90s, they privatized and brought in some entrepreneurs. The other one was more with, more with a lot of uh, political interests and uh, those in the political position to cover some of these, these uh, uh, establishments that they do run well. But um, ever since then, entrepreneurs have been the biggest employers of labor in Nigeria. And I want to tell you that until we have more entrepreneurs, we need more because the rate of unemployment in Nigeria is as a result of you know, deficiency and uh, the producing more entrepreneurs to take over. I may talk about maybe the economic um, environment and the first entrepreneurs. However, we still need entrepreneurs for this uh, unemployment and reduction in poverty in our nation. So I will say that uh, so far so good. Even what Mr. President said today in his speech, saying that the foreign reserve is coming up uh, and uh, a number of things are happening around the economy. That's what every entrepreneur wants to hear. Because it's been a lot of challenge uh, for some for, for some months now, uh, or we say some years now, for entrepreneurs, especially the instability in the foreign exchange uh, in the market. So that affects in the, uh, entrepreneurs from the decision making. And that's why we see a lot of things jumping up and down. But we need to do more yeah. to retain these entrepreneurs, encourage them to keep employing, to keep uh, employing people, and also bring more entrepreneurs into 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 the space mm. we need to bring future entrepreneurs that will take over from the one that is this thing. so right. that's what I, much i will say that after 64 years if you look at the movement you see that uh, they were better entrepreneurs than you have today because a lot of our good brains 
are being trained and they are running away, and most of them believe. And companies are even pulling out of Nigeria. So the environment is a big hostile. But the way that we do in Nigeria are not running anywhere. Okay. Okay, fine. It's good that, uh, you know, in your uh, presentation, you talked about, uh, you know, businesses that have, um, you know, been on around uh, for a very long time. You know, it some names come um, to mind right now if we talk about entrepreneurship, that they started small, they became family businesses, and uh, right now they are like um, household names, and they have actually grown up the, the, the ranks and the ladders. You can talk about um, Isia Kurabi, you talk about the Dangotes, the Dantata, the Emzos of this world. But over time, in the past 64 years, uh, the nation has been playing good issues of uh, uh, not just inflation, interest rate, and um, of course, um, even the forex um, dilemma right now. So how would you say that um, entrepreneurs have been able to weather the storm over the years uh, in as much as some are complaining about um, the macroeconomic um, issues, but then some are still, you know, moving on strong? <laughs> Uh, well, if you say moving on strong, uh, uh, maybe sadly because uh, mm. for entrepreneurs in Nigeria, there's a lot of struggle, a lot of issues. You know, when you compare what we used to be, you know, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, the money, the value of naira, or the parity you know, against other uh, 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 other for, uh, foreign currencies, you see that Nigerian entrepreneurs is becoming poorer. You can only be a big man in Nigeria when you count in millions. Once you move out of Nigeria, you discover that um, a lot has happened to that money, so you don't have the value anymore. So this has to be addressed by the government. Talking about uh, a, a, a number of companies, you know, side of it one man and that's going to become conglomerate, we have few of them in Nigeria. If you compare Nigeria with other developed nations of the world. You see here about Ford Motors. You see here about Hino Packard. You see here about so many companies that started and today that become that going to be the world recognized uh, uh, conglomerate. So Nigeria has to do more to support her own in terms of, uh, you know, look at what is happening with the exchange rate. Some people who obtain some facility with the bank all of a sudden, they, 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 they change the interest rate by many basic, basic basic points. And the counting, uh, I can imagine how some of them are battling to return the money. And so we, uh, I know, uh, we are all victims of that. We uh, you know, uh, obtain a lot of credit after selling in Naira. You go back to your bank and the bank they say you should pay the differential. And inflation is too much. You know, jumping from 750 to 1,600. Mm. It takes out an entrepreneur. But yet, we are surviving because we don't have any other country than Nigeria. Mm. And if all the entrepreneurs should close shop, they are the chaos in the country. They are the employers of labor. They are the ones that are absorbing the shock. They are the ones that, that is still paying the youth. But they are still offering them. Some job opportunities. Mm. So entrepreneurship is very important in our nationhood, and going forward, we need to encourage entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, and for me, I think uh, Nigeria look, need to look at uh, the bigger picture and maybe uh, what I call need to long-term plan, mm. not just what is happening today, like the palliatives. If you give the people the little money, they will squander it and move away. But entrepreneurship takes a lot. You need to start prepping the person that will become a future entrepreneur from cradle. You know, see how to incubate them and bring them to take over from our uh, elders who used to go out of uh, going to extinction uh, because nobody lives forever. So you need to now, Nigeria, need to look at it from that perspective of what do we do and give plan B to Nigerians and give right. to, uh, plan B to a young Nigerian. By beginning now to incorporate in that child the mindset, the, the, the what it takes to be an entrepreneur, mm. and incorporate in that child to grow with that mindset. And when the child grows with that mindset, even after going to school and coming out of school and there is no job, that child can set up a business. That's what I did when I went to university. I came out and I set up a, set up a business. After four years, I had, I had employed over 215 ideas on the street. So think about when we have more entrepreneurs. We had made that, that mindset. But it started because my mom started training me when I was 11, you know, and exposing me to entrepreneurship, going to her stores and the rest. 
So we need today to change our school system. We need to change our curriculum. People pride themselves when they say, oh, we yeah, teach British curriculum, American curriculum. That is not the same thing with Nigeria. We need functional education now. Mm. And what we need today is to catch these children young and train and bring the best out of them, their talent, and they, they will bring out the skills. This is a new skills. Create hubs. Mentor them. Bring them to become entrepreneurs that will drive this economy. I'm just coming out from a summit in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm actually on transit. I'm just in Frankfurt going back to Lagos. Now, in that, I was listening to one of the analysts, a former uh, uh, president of World Bank, who talked about what is happening in Africa. The Africa don't need more donors. What we need is more nation builders. And who are these nation builders? If not entrepreneurs, we need to encourage entrepreneurship, education across board. No, from primary school to secondary. That's why we are advocating. And I hope that Nigeria 64 will consider it something right. to do now. All right, well said. It's even very interesting, the story that you have shared about yourself and how you started young. Because uh, a school of thought believes that um, the Nigerian education uh, system only prepares graduates to look for white collar jobs after spending like four or five years as the case may be in the higher institution but what more can we do in terms of uh, maybe curriculum because i remember when i was in the university uh having studied them accounting it was just for a semester that they taught us entrepreneurship development and um, basically it was more theoretical and that uh, we did not do more practical so in terms of that what more can be done in terms of the educational system uh, maybe the private sector and even the government how more what more can they do you know to drive this you know message this narrative of entrepreneurship development yeah, thank you very much for that question as you may know i'm sure you didn't look at my profile very well you see that we've been advocating for mm -hmm. entrepreneurship education uh, starting from primary four, basic education to junior secondary, I I, I took it as my uh, my thesis, you know, a, a research uh, object. And uh, having researched it, I found out that a child can learn something when he's young, and if that child is well groomed, the child will grow with it. But come to think of it, the best professionals in, in sports and in music started when they were six and five or seven. So if we want great entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs to take over Nigerian uh, uh, economic space, we need to bring them at primary school level. And this from primary four, begin now to put in that child, you know, they, they, they train that child to develop the mindset, begin to train that child to be innovative, to be creative, begin to train that child differently. By the time the child goes to secondary school, even if the child stops at just a straight, that child would have learned craft, that I would have learned some things to do like painting, something like tiling and the rest of it. Now, you, when, after teaching that child these vocational studies, you now wrap it with entrepreneurship. And that child goes with that entrepreneurship mindset. This is how we take the world. We go into agriculture, we go into also. The people we talk about, you know, in the 60s, who were uh, 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 great entrepreneurs, they were in agriculture, they is, were starting a lot of agri agriculture products. And today, we have so many people who are looking for white collar jobs, and we have a lot of land lying so nobody is cultivated. We need entrepreneurs to take over the space. We need more entrepreneurs. Now, what I'm thinking is that we go change our curriculum, make it more functional, bring in things like entrepreneurship education, bring in, in like a uh, skill acquisition program, wrap it with entrepreneurship education. And as I say, I give it to today's government, they are working hard at it. I know that uh, we reached out to the Federal Ministry of Education and they're listening to us and they're paying attention to all this. It's good that this government is listening. And I believe that with the way they are going, very soon all these things will now come into the education space and uh, they shouldn't be trained differently. Nigerian economy is not like developed economies. We need to think of what will work for us and not just to put the children is the work we make them at the end of the day we lose them we're losing our best brains mm. so this is new what i call uh, modern slavery because in the way we have learned in the past that the slavery of the day they will come and take our strong to be that taking our, our best brain wise so we need to train the children to build Nigeria, to build our economy and the best time to do it is mm. now let's right. start with the children let's go down to primary school we will grab it bring their talent, discover their talent, discover what they know, and tell them how to monetize their talent. 
teach them how to save for you. You know, put in them, you know, the, the mindset of, uh, uh, of an entrepreneur, and they will grow with it, and they will be better for it. Okay, very quickly as we begin to round off the conversation, I'm, I'm glad you talked about um, the role um, parents can indeed play in identifying some of these skills that um, their children or wards may have and of course try to hone them. You know, But over time, over the years, we used to have uh, technical or TVET, that's technical and vocational education. It's as though they are no longer taking center stage. Before now, I remember back in the day in secondary school, we were taught um, you know, uh, introductory technology and we we're taught how to make things, but it's as though uh, emphasis is not really uh, put on those uh, core areas in subjects uh, taught in school. Are you um, advocating um, maybe a return to TVET, that's technical and vocational education? Yeah, um, you said it well, but why that one fell well? Because it was more of academics. You know, we are bringing teachers who are not entrepreneurs to teach entrepreneurship. How can we work? Mm. You see, you need to train them. Those teachers need to be trained differently to also develop the mindset of an entrepreneur. That's where we can put in the child. Mm. It was more of, okay, cram it, go to the exam hall, pass the exam. But that's not what we need to do now. We need to do more practical. We need to build mm -hmm. hubs. We need to build labs. Engineer, are you still with us? All right, would have loved to get um, a last word from Engineer Onachuku, who is joining us um, all the way from the United States, uh, because uh, the issue of entrepreneurship development cannot be overemphasized in the wake of uh, you know the high unemployment rate in the country and how Nigerians, uh, Nigerian youth, uh, still roam the street even after spending four years or more, uh, you know, in the nation's um, ivory towers. We need to look at that cr uh, critically, and uh, that's what we have been discussing in the past uh, twenty minutes or thereabout. And we had Engineer. Engineer, are you back with us? We lost you. We lost connection at some point. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So, as we, so as we round off now, what would your final thoughts um, on this um, issue be as we close? Yeah, I have hope. I have hope. My Nigeria will be good at that. Uh, and I encourage this government to continue to do work. It is difficult for people when they are hungry or passing through hard times to believe. But what I, uh, I want to also advise Nigerians, also to be patient with the government. I hope they will get it right before you the speech of Mr. President. Now, I also want to speak to those policymakers on education to look at this issue of entrepreneurship program. We need to take more delay further. We need to plan it now. Let it start in all the schools. Let it be implemented in all the schools without further delay. And I want to encourage parents, there are stakeholders in this. They also ask questions. Get right. the schools where they are integrating their children or they are reducing their children. They teach them something that will help the children. All right. Look, for big men who, who are taking it, sorry, I'm not, uh, I wanted to say something. We need sustainability. Those who are in, 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 in entrepreneurship should begin to put and teach, teach their children to take over. That's how this we, 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 we're going to have continuity. Otherwise, 70% of businesses normally die at, with the first uh, generation but we want to stop that narrative and change the trajectory to help nigeria in the end all right thank you so much i'm engineer namde unachuku entrepreneur uh, coach uh, we must say uh, a very big uh, thank you to all of um, all of that you have said on the show today uh, consolidating success on nigerian entrepreneurs we wish you all the best and happy independence day to you once again thank you god bless all right, that's the size of the show for today. My name is Justin Akadoni. Many thanks for being there. Happy Independence Day once again. Bye for now.